Reef Dudes is sponsored by Ecotech Marine and Bulk Reef Supply. Today we're going to make some DIY coral snow. What's going on guys? Devin from Reef Dudes. So today we are going to make some DIY coral snow, um, which is basically just calcium carbonate powder. Now, what, are you, what is the purpose of this? Why are we going to do this? Well, there's a few reasons. Uh, the most common one is for clarifying your water. Um, so calcium carbonate, which is basically just chalk, you know, the same old stuff you used to write on blackboards back in the day. It acts as a flocculant within the water and is going to bind organics, which can then be taken out by your skimmer, your filter socks, your filter rolls, that whatnot. And it's going to help give you super duper clear water. Now you can also use it to help get rid of vermin snails. And that's something we're going to dive into more next week. Um, you can basically use it as a way to kind of starve them out. Um, so now, I guess the first question is, you know, how do we make it? You know, there is a version from KZ you can buy, but again, it can get a bit pricey if you're using a lot of it. So this is relatively inexpensive to make your own. So let's get to it. So to make our stock dosing solution, we're gonna take about 115 grams of calcium carbonate powder, and then pour in roughly 230 to 250 mils worth of water. Don't really have to be exact, but this, now this is not going to fully dissolve. Um, it is going to stay suspended within the liquid and you may have to stir this up or just shake it up in the bottle or whatever you dose it. And that, that is normal, so it, it will not dissolve. Now the powder I'm using I just picked up off Amazon. This is 100% purity, so I figured it was a good one to go with. And it was, I think, about 10 bucks. So it was relatively inexpensive considering I can make a couple batches of this with it. Now the general dose is about one mil per 25 gallons. Um, you can safely double or triple that dosage and without really any consequences. It's not gonna affect your elk, your calcium, magnesium. So you're pretty safe. Now this will not dissolve in the aquarium. So again, it's gonna be taken out by your skimmer, your mechanical filtration. You know, so in my 200 gallon tank, you know, I'm probably gonna do about a 10 mil dosage and I think that will work pretty well. And I would also recommend doing this at nighttime. Um, again, if you're using it for vermited snails, that's more likely when they're going to be feeding, so that's a good time to do it. Um, but the big thing is your tank is just going to look super duper cloudy for the next few hours. So if you do it at nighttime, you don't really have to worry about it. By morning, you should be nice and clear, crystal clear again. Now, dosing is extremely easy. You know, I'm going to blend you about 10 mils into my tank. And again, you don't have to worry too much about overdosing it, but your tank is going to become excessively cloudy for the next few hours, which is why I generally would recommend doing this at nighttime. And then the next morning, your tanks will be crystal clear again. But one of the magical things about this is all of your organics in the water are gonna bind to these little tiny particles of calcium carbonate. And what that's gonna do is just make it really easy for your filtration to remove it. You know, whether that's your filter socks, your filter rollers, whatever it is. Now keep in mind, you are going to have to change your filter socks a little more frequently if you're doing this. Um, same if you're using a filter roller, you're definitely gonna burn through that roll a lot quicker. And because of that, you know, it's just something to be aware of, right? It's a lot more little particles it has to deal with, but that's part of the magic of it, binding it and removing it from your water. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video on DIY coral snow, super easy project. Um, save you a ton of money and it's going to give you crystal clear water. As always guys, if you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next video.